This is Cherish OS, one of the base Android ROM out there. It's based on Android 12 and it's available for many smartphones. But the question is, can you use this as your daily driver? Let's find out. So apart from the amazing boot animation, this room has plenty to offer. This room has features, stability, a custom camera. And in my experience, this room is too good to be true. So first of all, let's talk about the basic things. Good call quality, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, everything works great. Even you can use all the banking apps and payment apps in this room. So when you install this room for the very first time, it might look like just a stock Android. But wait until you open setting menu. You can customize the way your setting menu looks. For that, go to this cherry settings, go to themes, and in this setting, you can select your setting menu type. It can be USP, it can be cherries, it can be Oxino style. And this is the first time I am ever seeing this kind of feature in any room. And now there are more battery icons in the status bar customization. You can have iOS battery icon, you can have portrait, and with this landscape capsule, it just looks neat. You can also customize your lock screen, so if you are listening to music, you can see the cover art on lock screen and also you can see this visualizer, you can hide your clock or change the font on lock screen and there are plenty of other features that this room provides. So this room is very smooth, there is no junk apps, no bloatware, so this room only takes very less of your storage. And because there is no unwanted apps, you get extra free RAM which you can use in your gaming. Speaking of gaming, there are plenty of features for gamers too. Just go to setting, go to system and here you will find device specific features. Just go there and you can enable high refresh rate. But this feature will only work if you have 120Hz display. Then you have this DC dimming. It essentially takes care of your screen flickering issues. And there is thermal profile. This feature is for power users. And there is me sound enhancer. You can use these. It definitely works when you have good kind of earphone. So gaming in this room is decent too. There is no frame drop, there is no screen glitches and definitely no phones close. And if you are into benchmark, here is the antidote score compared to MIUI. So now let's talk about the battery life. I get almost 2 days after the full charge and I am talking about medium usage. So when everything is great, what's not good in this room? Well this room comes with Gcam Go. Now Gcam Go is decent camera app but when you compare to MIUI camera app, this is little inferior. But apart from that, performance, stability, battery life, in every aspect, this room will definitely outperform MIUI 30. 